your records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. Looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs are almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. way 47 and even now you don't remember this place this was our prison where father trained us shaped us into killers for providence now, you don't remember they ripped it out of you wiped it away but i do i remember everything You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact, you and I. Do this. We both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject 6. Your name is Subject 6. And what is our purpose? To take them all down. We were going to tear it all down. The Institute. Providence. Everyone who'd ever hurt us, we failed. The partners grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first Constant. If we find him, if He's still alive. He's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. <laughs> That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. <sighs> Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time. But after Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady, 
But neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died. Civilians. You align yourself with terrorists, murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Subject 47, most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away, he and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. I remember who he is. Gentlemen, let's go over the plan. The first constant is none other than Janus, the legendary Cold War spy master, a KGB senior officer and head of the sixth column special branch at Lubienka. Janus is a certified genius and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the US. Shortly after, the Soviet Union collapsed. Now, it is unclear when Janus stepped down as the Constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right, so here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. So we frame Janus, make Providence think he was the real Shadow Client. Correct. I will file a false ICA report, claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus's house to the Institute in Romania. The case will seem clear. Mr. Gray was only a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, for this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail, a Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive, and we cannot risk that he contradicts our story to his employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. Janus is apparently engaged in a civil lawsuit with another resident of Whittleton Creek. James Batty, the plaintiff, wants Janus to stop his annual landing of a helicopter near the local creek. The lawsuit also mentions Nolan Cassidy and his unlawful surveillance around town. Hmm. So Janus takes a helicopter trip once per year. I think we're on to something here, 47. 47? I think it would be beneficial to locate the unlawful surveillance mentioned in the lawsuit. Perhaps Nolan Cassidy's house would be a good place to start.
A cigar box with a few cigars and a note inside. Well, this is very interesting. The note indicates that the box was given to Janus by the Constant, as per tradition, he writes. 47. This could mean the Constant and Janus meet up on a regular basis. Excellent find. You know the exterminator guy who's working on Batty's house? Same guy who just did Cassie's, right? Yeah. So, I let him use the green shipping container to store some chemicals. I asked him if it was poisonous, but he assured me that it was only a sleeping agent. Oh, geez, darling, I'm so hungry. Have you seen those beautiful patties back there? And Mr. Wilson just keeps standing behind the grill, even though there's clearly no more gas on it. I know, it's weird. Why doesn't he go grab a new canister? I'm telling you, these new folks are strange. Did you see that Cassidy guy snooping around here? He's been looking at the party three times already. Why not just go inside? It's open to everyone. Yeah, it's strange. The Wilsons are throwing a barbecue and everyone's invited. It sounds like Nolan Cassidy has some interest in the party as well, but for some reason, he's unwilling to go inside. Maybe you can help fix whatever's wrong in there, 47. Change all right. Oh, maybe he's a vegan? I don't trust a man who can't eat a rare steak. Why do you ever care about his food, Al? You should take this more seriously. They're our neighbors. Up to the report. Bob feels good, though. Listen here, pal. I'm sorry, but you're not getting through. Mm. Oh, I have to tell you, mm. these are the best muffins I ever had. I'm supposed to meet a client for a house show today, but <laughs> I can't stop eating. Maybe you know him, Mr. Nolan Cassidy? Um, can say that I do. Well, he's uh, in the in this great house. can't just confiscate my property. I need Honey, it to get please. rid of an aggressively Nicole? invasive yes. mole in this poor old man's backyard. To Calm down, family. demolition man. Unless it's a flesh-eating mutant. One of Janus's gardeners has decided to clear a series of mole tunnels using explosives. I applaud his enthusiasm, but sadly, local police have confiscated his equipment. If you were to find it, 47, it might be the perfect way to rid the world of Janus. Mole, you don't need explosives. We're gonna keep them safe in our trunk until you produce that license, okay? Now, come on, man. It's scared of procedure. Janus, that old Russian guy I talked about. No, there's only me here to come. I would love it. Looking basement. What could she be doing down here?
Thanks, I guess. Anytime. So I'm going to stop prattling on and let you all enjoy the barbecue. Please don't be shy. Come up Pardon and introduce me. yourself. Can I you offer you a little to treat? Huh? Don't hesitate to ask Richard about his books or to post my best cheesecake recipe. Oh, thanks. Whatever you enjoy. like. We don't buy, do we, huh? Uh, nope. Hey, you, uh, what's your name? Uh, Psst, get a try something hey. special. Oh. Say what? Is anyone there? Cuidado. It's my house. Thanks, I owe you one. My pleasure. Uh, I just got... All right, folks. The food is ready. Excuse me. You should try this. It really is to die for. Hmm. Nolan Thanks. I guess. Enjoy. Thank you. That's all right. Ah, there's an open spot. Ah. Let's hope he likes his food, 47. So, what's good here? I hear it's all to die for, Mr. Cassidy. Oh? Thanks. Sure thing. Nolan Cassidy is down. Good work, 47. Janus awaits your attention. Drop off the surveillance tapes on Janus at the house. Cassidy was asking for them earlier. Yeah, added them to the pile. What a stupid. We called the surveillance in the attic. Bring the tapes over to HQ and we'll use them there. Sure, strange. Cassidy is certainly keeping a close watch on Janus. I'm willing to bet those surveillance tapes hold interesting information. not an ordinary resident of Whittleton Creek, 47. This must be one of Cassidy's men working undercover. I suggest you keep an eye out for more of them.
Oh, sure. If you play around a little with some fertilizer, propane, and gasoline, they're right there to confiscate your stuff and treat you like a goddamn terrorist. But when your car gets keyed by your neighbor's dim... Hey there, Gardner. annual gathering of the Ark Society. Hmm, that rings a bell. If Janus was its founder, perhaps he's still attending these gatherings, 47. This could be valuable information indeed. Good work, 47. We now know Janus is meeting with the Constant at an event related to the Ark Society. And we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. We're close to the finish line. It's time to end this.
I understand you have a mole problem. Oh, you're a godsend. Let's get straight to it. The sooner this is fixed, the sooner I won't have to listen to Mr. Janus's complaints. Follow me. As you can see, we have a mole issue. You can find me when you're done. So the holes are filled, Nina? Yes, Mr. Janus. The gardener took a bit of an unorthodox approach, but they do look filled to me. Well, I think I'll be the judge of that myself. Thank you very much. Like I've been forced to deal with moles my entire life. Moles in my organization, moles I employed, and now these little pests. constant catch up with you. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like Janus. Still, 